Hi guys, it's 8 Dude here and I've got some uh, good news to share on the development of 8-Bit Unity uh, throughout the coming months. First of all, for those who might not be aware, the initial release uh, 0 0.1 of 8-Bit Unity was released last month and you can download this for free on the 8-Bit Unity site. It's got support for the uh, Atari 8-Bit, the Apple II, as well as the Commodore C64. In the meantime, I've been uh, busy to work on version 0 0.2, uh, which I'm hoping to release in June uh, 2019. Uh, some improvements include a, a simplified uh, application programming interface for UDP networking, and also new platforms as the Auric 1 and Atmos. Implementation of 8-bit Unity on the Auric 1 and Atmos was a little bit challenging from a graphics point of view. Uh, the Auric hardware for drawing bitmaps consists of uh, uh, drawing groups of six pixels with a mask to save those pixels on, uh, on or off, and having uh, one paper color and one ink color. Uh, there is a, a possibility to invert uh, that ink and paper, which, well, for a group of six pixels gives you four color, uh, but to widen out the palette a little bit more, uh, it's necessary to use some tricks uh, that involve interlacing uh, lines with different paper and in ink color. I find quite a bit of information on this on the Defense uh, Force Forum, and in particular, uh, a com particular combination of paper and ink colors called the AIC uh, mode graphics. Uh, you can see uh, on the right hand side an AIC uh, bitmap rendered on the screen. And I have also implemented software sprites. And to avoid clash between those sprites in the background, uh, basically one line of the sprite uh, belongs to the AIC uh, gr mode graphic and the other line uh, can be changed uh, by the user. So that means uh, when you're going over different areas of the screen, uh, for instance, a green area, uh, every other line uh, will be a little bit different, a little bit, little bit of black color. Uh, but some other areas, like the water, uh, this clash uh, is not so uh, obvious. Uh, as for the number of sprites, it's in theory unlimited, but in practice, I think up to eight sprites uh, is the best you're going to get if you want to maintain a, a decent frame rate. Moving on to uh, version 0 0.3, uh, the target is presently for August 2019, uh, possibly September, and there will be a new platform added uh, in the form of the Atari Lynx, uh, both Model 1 and 2, as well as a new piece of hardware uh, called the 8-bit Hub, uh, with initially compatibility for the Auric 1 and Atmos, and the Atari Lynx. So it's the first time I mentioned this 8-bit hub and I would like to give a brief introduction uh, to the concept. It's actually a project I started a few months back and if you look on YouTube uh, for 8-bit hub you will see a short technical demonstration uh, in action uh, whilst connected to the Auric Atmos. So this project is based on a Arduino uh, with uh, an Ethernet shield uh, which means that the system has access uh, through LAN to the internet and can of course exchange with the server uh, TCP and uh, UDP uh, packets. There is also uh, a facility for connecting uh, Atari style joysticks, so those are just one button joysticks, uh, up to four and also a PS2 mouse and the API for controlling this PS2 mouse, PS2 mouse, those joysticks, as well as the networking, will of course be available through the 8-bit Unity uh, API. Now, the system uh, which are targeted is basically every single system supported by 8-bit Unity. Uh, from the Apple, Atari and Commodore, uh, which of course currently you can get Ethernet systems, uh, but some of them are pretty hard to uh, get by, for instance the Dragon Kart on the Atari uh, or 
the usernet on the Apple. It's very, very hard to get those hardware because they are made by uh, volunteers, essentially. So the 8-bit hub aims to uh, provide an alternative and also it will be the first uh, ever system on the Auric Enderlinx uh, to provide uh, Ethernet connectivity uh, on the Auric through the printer port and on the Lynx through the Comlink uh, interface. So as mentioned previously, my target for 8-bit Unity 0.2 it will be around June. Uh, 2019 and for the version 0 0.3 will be uh, through the middle of the summer. As you can imagine, uh, developing those tools as well as the hardware for the 8-bit hub is taking quite a bit of my time and also quite a bit of money. So if some of you uh, can consider to uh, join uh, my Patreons, I would be very thankful. And I would like to uh, say a big thanks uh, to Brian and Arek who are already supporting this project. Oh, <laughs> oh,